Hello! Today we are going to be doing a mini swatch party of the Kaleidos new lip clays, the four shades that they released and also a quick review of their two new eyeshadow quads that they put out. Palette number one, Black Jasmine. It is a quad that can create you a very classic and standard black smoky eye. I have the black shade all over my eyes today. I wanted to go for like a pure black raccoon eyes look today. I wore this palette in my top of haul video as well. I love these shades. However, they are shades that are common everywhere. So if you do not have something like that, then I can recommend that you get this one. But if you already have something similar, I wouldn't recommend you go out of your way to get this palette. I want to talk about this shimmer glitter shade. I have kind of like a love-hate relationship with this more towards the hate side. It has a little bit sort of like a dark base to it. It's not extremely dark, it is somewhat translucent but it is still dark. So if you put it over a light eyeshadow, instead of just you know adding to it, it turns the entire look a little bit darker. So that's what I don't really like about it. You can see that there is actually quite a dark base. So that is something to note if you are going to put it on top of a light shadow. Palette number two, which is called Cold Brew. I was not expecting anything from this palette. In fact, I was all for this one. This palette was the one that surprised me. These browns are a little bit more cool toned and I love them so much. Other than that, I think the main star of this palette for me is this shimmer shade right here. It is so, so pretty and so, so sparkly. Oh my goodness. This one will just elevate any matte eyeshadow you put it on. Extremely stunning shimmer shade. As compared to this one, you can see this one definitely has a little bit of a darker base. Both shimmer shades mainly contain silver and champagne shimmer in it. Extremely pretty. Although it is full of champagne and silver glitter, it doesn't have that very tacky kind of feel which I love because some like silver glitter shades, they are just outright tacky and just nasty. But this one, Kaleidos did it to like the sweet spot I feel so I really appreciate that. The shadows for this one are also extremely pigmented and they blend like a dream. You can definitely trust their eyeshadows although they can be a little bit too pigmented for a newbie but they are extremely 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 blendable you just need to use it with a lighter hand if you haven't tried a Kaleidos eyeshadow or just any Kaleidos powder pigment go try them out hey i have on nu08 now because i forgot to record my thoughts for nu07 i just want to say that i love nu07 it is like a classic my lips but better shade i think out of the four shades in this collection i like nu07 the best for my lip shade it is literally my lips but better the perfect new shade for my lips. For NU07, there's no point in wearing a light layer of it because it literally looks the same shade as my lip color. So if I were to wear it out, I would wear it out full on. NU07 is definitely a shade I would recommend you to check out. NU08 thoughts. This shade literally reminds me of dark chocolate. I wouldn't say this is a wow shade for me. I don't really feel anything for this shade, although I think that it is pretty. Will I want to reach out for it? Maybe not, but maybe once in a while in the back of my mind, if I remember this shade, I will take it out and wear it. But I wouldn't be like, hey, I want to wear this shade out, you know, I wouldn't put it in my list of shades I want to wear out. D09, I have to say that this shade I was surprised. I wasn't expecting anything from this shade and I did not expect myself to like this shade as well. But after I put it on full on, wow. It's a very charming shade. It kind of draws you in. When you first try it on, you might think that, mm, okay. But when you put it on full on and you look at it in its full glory, you will realize that, wow. This is a very, very, very powerful shade. It is making me feel like I do not want to take this off. <laughs> it is a brown with red and they, they did it really well. Totally recommend this shade. I did not expect myself to like this shade at 
all. I wouldn't recommend to wear a light layer of it because it's pointless. For the bulk of lip clays from Kaleidos, it is the best to wear it full on. What's the point of wearing a light layer of these things when they are made to be worn full on? To exude its full glory. Totally recommend this shade. If you're looking for a brown red shade, I really recommend you check this one out. E 8 Thoughts. Feels like it's a red that I already own and I don't really particularly feel a lot for this shade. Do I recommend this shade? Maybe not. Red that is more cool toned, which I kind of like in general, but I feel like I already own a lot of such reds. It doesn't feel like a shade I would think about, so it will be probably be hidden somewhere in the back of my lipstick drawer. <laughs> mm. Rubino and Dahlia are probably the two shades that are the most similar to Smeared Rouge. So here is a comparison in case you are interested. The one at the bottom in general is a more neutral red. I would say Smeared Rouge, the one over here is a more cool toned red while Rubino, the one over here is obviously has a little bit more brown tones in it and a little bit warmer. Hope you like this video. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite shade is. Will you buy any of these shades? And I will see you in the next video as usual.